Good morning, Trailblazers. Today is Thursday, December 9th, 2021. I'm Amelia from Ms. Keen's class, and I will be a news anchor today. We will now observe a moment of silence. Thank you. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today's lunch is chicken tenders or cornbread and cheese pretzel fondue. Side items include mashed potatoes, collard greens, and assorted fruit. Now let's go to Ms. Keltner and Dr. Poole for a few announcements. Good, Good morning, Trailblazers. Trailblazers. Happy Thursday. Thursday. We're getting there. Close, yeah, no, week and a day, and then we will be on winter vacation. We are, well, we have some celebrations this morning. Birthdays, we have Caitlin Francis and we have Rita Maximos, a little kid, uh, pre k -er. Oh, happy, uh, happy birthday. birthday. Ladies, come on down to the front office because we are celebrating with you as well. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we always have other celebrations, and I'm okay, always happy to go. announce. Yep. Uh, coming from Mrs. Hartsfield's class, we have Lucas M., who has mastered his division facts. Way to go, Lucas, working hard. From wow. Mrs. Morris's class, we have Davis Calibet, who's mastered his multiplication facts. From Mrs. Hurst's class, we have Aspen, who has mastered his subtraction facts. Oh, Way right. to go, boys and girls. You work, are doing an excellent job. I don't see Mateo. Mateo, you do need to come out, so come out please, sir. <laughs> Mateo wanted to share. Can you go over there and stand so that we can at least put the camera on you? I was, I was given this. He wants to share some um, information in reference to some traditions, I do believe, with his um, family, but he didn't want to read it. Oh, okay. He so he asked, so he, asked if I, <laughs> he asked if I would read it. So he says, hi, my name is Mateo, and in my house we celebrate a special holiday called El Dia de los Reyes, oh. the three wise men of the three kings day. This special day is celebrated on January 6th, 12 days after Christmas. Mm -hmm. My family is from Puerto Rico, and this, and this was the way Christmas was celebrated before Santa Claus made it over to the islands mm -hmm. in 1898 when the United States won the Spanish-American War and took possession of the island. On the night of January 5th, we get a shoebox and go get some grass and put it in the show in the sh show box. Shoebox. Yeah, he has show, but okay, maybe okay. he means shoe. Shoe it's box okay. with a small bowl of water so the camels can eat and drink after their long trip. Then the three kings will each leave a small present of their choice under the bed. I like that. Our family Ooh. continues this tradition at our house, and I always look forward to, to see what the three kings bring me did, oh. did you guys put the camera on oh, Mate mateo standing over here i want to see mateo what do you recall getting last year for the three gifts do you remember from the kings You forgot to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Due to COVID, everything got put aside. All right. Pre-COVID, can you remember some of the gifts you've gotten before? I don't know. I got to say 
Well, like video game thing. Video sure. game thing. All right. Okay. Very good. Yeah, cool. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. Thank I you. Thank it. you. He's usually behind the camera. And right. Today we're Precisely. Him come on the camera. He's, he's a, I can tell he's a little bashful. Yeah. All right. Have thank a great you. day. Thank, thank you, Mateo. You. And then um, on yesterday's tribute, I asked which uh, state was the last state in what year to actually uh, come aboard and celebrate Christmas. And I have three names, and they are indeed correct. So Zach Randerier, uh come on down. Abraham Pizarro, come on down. And Brianna Averett. And the last state was Oklahoma. And it was in 1907. Interesting. So okay. everybody didn't celebrate Christmas all no, at the same time. No, I did not know that. I did no. not either. All right. Well, thank you for that trivia question. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you dressed like candy canes out there? We've got our <laughs> red and white on. So yes, take pictures, do. send them to me so we can post them on social media. Tomorrow, <clears throat> excuse me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And unfortunately, I won't be here. It's going to be Christmas vacation day. So dress like how you would be going to vacation. If you're going skiing, then wear ski clothes. If you're yeah. going to the islands, wear something Hawaiian, like a oh, shirt like or something that. funny. Like so that. just dress like in your best vacation wear. <laughs> All right. Those are, oh, wait. No, we have one more special announcement. I know... Mrs. Salisus and Mrs. Alexander are especially proud yes. of a former trailblazer. Although we mm -hmm. say once a trailblazer, always a trailblazer. a trailblazer. That's right. Layla Alexander created this picture of Tyler, and I had to ask who Tyler was. I guess he's this famous celebrity that maybe our teens oh, are following. Wow. Um, and her teacher is Mr. Shepard, and I hear he's an amazing teacher at Montford. But um, I know... It's very wow. great detail. I like that. Yeah. I mean, it's almost like Tyler is standing right here like with that. us. So yeah. congratulations she's, to our she's really talented. Um, former trailblazer artist, Layla. So you too keep up your All art right. skills and continue it on in a middle school and high school. Pretty good. All right. Trailblazers, are we ready? Are we ready? That's, That's it for today's edition of WDTS. Make, Make today's mission possible by building your bridge to success. success. Bye. Bye.